Week two, NFL kicks off Thursday on NFL Network. Ravens at Cincy. Ravens are 144 the total. I guess you could say it's revenge for both teams. Here we are again, week two, where the Bengals are on Thursday night football. Last year, after they got shut out week one at home by the Ravens, 20 to nothing, they couldn't score, uh, couldn't get in the end zone against the Texans. And after the game, they fired Ken Zampezi, the OC, and Laser took over. And then in week 17, we all know that they knocked the Ravens out of the playoffs with that miracle touchdown pass on fourth and a mile that put the Bills in the playoffs. Both teams won last week. And so far, so good for that Bengals offense. Uh, Mixon had a good job on the ground at 90 yards. A.J. Green had two fumbles. But uh, they moved the sticks with A.J. Green. Ross had a touchdown. Dalton has weapons here. And, of course, the Ravens played the high school Bills. And that thing was 40 to nothing early in the third quarter. A total bloodbath. But as we discussed uh, last week, the Ravens have new weapons now, new wide receivers. And Brown caught a touchdown. Crabtree had a nice game, too. So there's weapons there for Flacco. And they had some packages for Lamar Jackson as well. Yeah, I mean, from a trend standpoint, Cincinnati's owned Baltimore of late, which is kind of surprising. And I went back and looked. I'm like, really? I don't remember that. Bengals are 7-2 and two straight up the last nine meetings uh, against uh, the Ravens since the 2013 season finale. And, and that's not just it. When you also look at the trends, so the trends favoring Cincinnati in that regard, you can also look at the trends. Ravens off a home win by 21 or more, off a big blowout. How about this? 3-12 and 12 straight up. In their next Ooh. ballgame, they only covered four point spreads in that role. They have not responded well in the Harbaugh era the following week off a big blowout victory. That being said, <laughs> you know, you talk about the new weapons for Baltimore. That was very real. What uh, We saw uh, 10 different guys catch passes for the Ravens last week. And when you have Sneed and you have John Brown, you have Crabtree, you have Max Williams and Javarius Allen, a, a lot of different guys can do a lot of different things for this offense. While we like Cincy's defense, I don't know if we like him enough. Remember, Indy's going down the field to score the winning yeah. score before they yeah. fumble, and all of a sudden, Cincy wins by double digits. It's a little bit of a fraudulent final score, in my opinion. A lot of talk about Lamar Jackson for this ballgame. You know, uh, Cincy really want quote, the big thing is to limit him early so they don't use him throughout the game. They're worried about Lamar Jackson coming in and they're running some wildcat. He had 39 rushes on seven yards against uh, Cincy, uh, against uh, uh, Buffalo in the opener. Yeah, they, they did. The Colts did go up and down the field against the Bengals, although Dunlap was a beast in that game. The egregious uh, body weight sack they called the, the hit on Luck was, was horrible. Uh, and they got the defensive touchdown late. So the Ravens were number one last year in turnover differential. They had a great defense, according to Football Outsiders, and I guess I test as well with the mainstream stats. This is good info, though, about who do they actually go up against with the quarterbacks. I mean, that is solid that they went against E.J. Manuel, Matt Moore, Hunley, Savage, Brissett, and Kaiser twice. And then, of course, they get Peterman out of the gates. And, of course, they shut him down. And now that, that experiment's over because today the Bills named the Allen the starter Sunday. Yeah, it didn't take long for the Nathan Peterman experiment no. to end. In Buffalo. Uh, but you're absolutely right about Baltimore beating up on weak defenses. They are on weak quarterbacks, I should say. A lot of their positive turnover differential last year had to do with the fact that they were facing E.J. Manuel and Matt Moore and Brett Hundley and Todd Savage and Deshaun Kaiser twice and the likes. This is Andy Dalton. And basically, in my mind, your bet on this game is how, what you think of Dalton. Is Dalton a middle-tier, bottom-tier QB or is Dalton... Yeah. With the weapons he has around him, a better than average quarterback, your ranking of Dalton, in my mind, is how you should bet this ball game. I'm neutral on it. I'm not going to get involved on Thursday night. Like the show? Help us keep the lights on. Please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe to all the Sportsbook Review videos. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Enjoy the game.